Welcome back to Without Shortcuts. Today we are going to do a little investigation into the best way to cook corn on the cob. That's right, we've got five years of corn here and we're going to use five different methods for cooking these that uh, we're pretty confident are going to produce five very different results. Corn on the cob is one of those things that's only available for a couple months out of the year at best. Uh, when you can get it fresh, it is just so wonderful and delicious that we figure as long as it's so limited, let's figure out the right way to do it. So we're going to do one that gets steamed for a couple of minutes. We'll do one ear that gets boiled for a couple of minutes. One ear will get placed on the barbecue grill uh, just by itself as is, no covering, no uh, accoutrement. We'll do one that gets wrapped in tin foil with a little bit of butter and salt. I know that's an upgrade and that's going to change it, but all of them will get buttered and salted at the end before we taste them. And then the final ear will just get placed on the grill in the husk as is, and we'll see which one's the winner. All right, let's see what happens. To the grill. All right. So we've got the grill preheated. We'll go ahead and put these on here and we are going to see what happens. So this one's just going straight on the grill and then we've got the foil wrapped and then the one in the husk. We'll close this up, let them cook for a couple of minutes and then come out and check them again. Right here we've got a pot of salted water that is boiling so we'll go ahead and drop this guy in here and then we'll just let that sit in there for a couple of minutes. All right, so we've got this first one about done. So we'll stick that on a plate. And then we'll just put a steamer basket right over the top of our boiling water. Second ear of corn goes in. We'll cover that and then we'll let that steam for a few minutes and see how it turns out. All right. Okay, so we've got some pretty good char marks on that one. That looks looking good. We'll go ahead and pull the rest of these off. All right, let's go see what we did here. All five ears of corn are cooked in their own individual manner. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. We're gonna cut each one and then we'll put them on our plates and taste them with as much butter and or salt and pepper as either one of us chooses to put on that particular piece. We'll compare them and then we'll uh, rate them and see how they are. So just as a reminder, this one was boiled, this was steamed, this was grilled um, just straight on the grill. Obviously this is foil wrapped and then that's the one uh, that was grilled in the husk. Which one's in the husk? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was that one. Ah, okay. Don't get yours confused over there, son. I got them. They're in order. All right. Done with that? Done. Okay, ready? Yep. So we'll take a bite and then each of us will place on here starting with our favorite to our least favorite. Okay. Go. Corn. Not good, it doesn't taste like broccoli or something. Might be weird. Now we were going, which way were we going? Favorite, favorite, least favorite. Least favorite. Okay, got it. You go first on favorite. All right. Which is? That is the one that was wrapped in foil. Also the one that was wrapped in foil. It could be that it had butter while it was cooking, uh -huh. that it had salt, but I mean, it was just softer, more flavor. Yeah. But not mushy, just no. Mm -mm. Like the inside, but still crunch. I mean, yeah, it was cooked great. Yeah. But yeah, I, like you said, I think it's just the fact that it basically steamed in butter. I think that's what did it. Yeah. No, I agree. All right. Second for me, I'm going to go 
Steamed. <laughs> uh, as am I. <laughs> Weird. Speaking of steamed. <laughs> Glad we're so different and diverse on this right. channel. Right. Yeah, definitely. That one I just thought was bright. It was, mm -hmm. this sounds a little corny. <laughs> But that one tasted the most corny. Most like corn. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just exactly what you'd expect. Like, like you were going to the county fair and you ordered a big piece of corn on a right. stick, and like, yeah, just really good, fresh. Mm -hmm. Highlights the you know the season and the fact that it's good corn. Absolutely, yeah, just nice and juicy. Um, and yeah, like you said, just a great corn flavor. All right, so, and all you. Right. So next up for me is the grilled just straight on the grill and i am actually going to go boiled huh. first divergence interesting uh i liked the boiled similar to the steamed um but it, it was just a, it was a little more dense it wasn't quite mm -hmm. as corn forward yeah. uh, as the steamed one but other than that it had a lot of those same qualities gotcha and for me i think really it's just a matter of personal taste uh the one that was straight on the grill um obviously picked up some char marks from the grill and it just adds a nice kind of charred smoky flavor to it and that's something i really enjoy so that's that was my next pick for sure so i agree with those sentiments and i go straight on the grill as my next pick and on this one i actually i really liked the flavors and having it charred like that and mm -hmm. the textures it brought but when i taste this i always think about using that corn in another dish yeah. like if we were making a corn salad oh, or if we sure. were using it to accompany like a good chicken dish or something mm -hmm. uh, then i like those flavors to come out more as far as sure. just preparing you know really good fresh corn mm -hmm. uh, i think i preferred the other ones more all right so my next one was actually the boiled corn and as strange as it sounds because the the boiled and the steamed are so similar the reason that i liked the steamed better than the boiled was for some reason and maybe it's just a piece of corn i got it almost dried out the corn like this was a lot more juicy than the boiled one was for yeah. me. So that leaves, again, the same mark on the very <laughs> end. But I think, even before we discuss this, there's a fairly big caveat to be had with this particular piece of corn yeah. that was cooked in the husk. Yeah, for sure. It's just not as good a piece of corn. Yeah, it's a, it was a lot smaller piece of corn. The kernels are a lot smaller than all the other pieces. Um, that being said, in theory, Cooking it in the husk should kind of help steam it a little bit, but I don't know if the husk was uh, a little more dried out than normal or if it was the piece of corn itself, but it was just kind of a dry piece of corn um, and it didn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. So not a bad way to cook it. Um, and certainly easy. I mean, yeah, there's something to be said for, for sure. ease of use. And there isn't any silk on that one. like. Right. All of that cleared off, the husk came off easily, so it eats clean, sure. which counts for something. Definitely. But I really think having a better piece of corn in general cooked that way would have made a big difference. Yeah, definitely. So, going back, we're very close. Our first two, we both agreed, wrapped in foil with butter and salt. I mean, like we said at the beginning, we knew that that was going to have some advantages, and it definitely did. The second one we agreed on was the steamed. Mm -hmm. We split, I thought the boiled, and then the directly on the grill charred uh, for three and four. And Brian went with the charred and then boiled for three and four. And both of us had the in the husk and grilled at number five with the caveat of it wasn't as good a piece of corn. Right. So now we've got five different ways to cook uh, corn on the cob. Um, if you've not tried some of these methods yourself, go ahead and give them a shot. See how it works out for you. Maybe it'll end up being better than, you know, whatever your current method is. And none of them are that difficult. It doesn't take that much time <laughs> or effort to, you know, try a different one and see if it really works for you. But for sure. we definitely recommend it. They are definitely different and unique in each preparation. So there might be something you like better than another. Absolutely. So give them a shot. If you've got another method that we didn't try today that you like, let us know down in the comments and you know we're always willing to try something new so let us know what uh what your favorite is yeah hit us on uh, any of the social media or instagram or especially our tiktok page that's coming up and getting running and got some pretty interesting videos on it itself uh but let us know in those comments until then especially when it comes to nice in season fresh corn on the cob keep skipping the shortcuts and we'll see you again all right I'm gonna go find some dental floss. We'll see you guys later. Oh yeah.
I'll take another piece of corn, yeah. Pile it on there high and deep. <laughs> oh. Mmm. 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 